Hey ya! Oh wow! Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? Ah! I don't know why I'm just speaking in Japanese or something like that for karate sessions, but hey, at least we're still on new forms of ninja drama after all. Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Picklet here once again, and I'm back for some more of yet again for the likes of the Maxi Toys videos. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for some more of Let's Play of Yoshi's Crafted World for the Nintendo Switch. So last time, we have Master April to be gone. Uh, exploring around in Ninjurama while able to ex simply just exploring through those three levels as you can see. In addition with that, we also take on the forms of the next mini boss fight according to the forms of the castle level. And also same applies to the forms of finding those other kinds of souvenirs and stuff like that. And today for this episode in particular, and also just trying to rescue some of those, you know, the next few uh, nin uh, poochie pups and stuff. So today for this episode is the fact that we're going to be might as well able to actually say this right now. We might able to actually just wrap things up with this world in particular before we move on to the forms of the next world. So either way, um, yeah, because of that though, we just need to mainly focusing on other souvenirs and stuff. Mainly, for instance, for example, we need to find those uh, golden uh, shrukens, which I don't know if I can pronounce that very well, just because I don't understand. Uh, most of these items based off from Japan or China, but I do know some aspects though, but it's just that I'm just not a huge master when it comes to likely knowing Japanese or Chinese or anything like that. Sure, um, because it might take some time to get used to with specifically for all these kinds of stuff like this, but either way though, that's just how I can usually think about for myself at this point. So anywho though, um, yeah, because of this, though, uh, today's day is the forms of uh, Tuesday the 24th of uh, March in 2020 today. So as a result for the forms of this particular uploading schedule is the fact that recently that, um, well, I can assure you to say is that Sonic has recently wrapped things up with Nuki Bay recently in the forms of his Let's Play of Super Mario Sunshine. So now he needs to be focusing on uh, Dolphino Plaza itself, as well as, uh, Pianta Village, and it seems to be more accurate though, is the fact that Sonic is pretty much gonna be almost wrap things up with Super Mario Sunshine Let's Play before, um, I'm assuming that Duffy might able to actually do the next Let's Play at some point in the future, because he hasn't been done, uh, the new Let's Play in 2020 since, well, I would say for this matter though, is the fact that since during the forms of, uh, um, I don't know about you, but either way though, it's been about a couple of months since Steffi hasn't been going back into his Let's Plays these days, probably because of, uh, you know, some different scenarios has been happening, so as a result, we'll let uh, Duffy will able to actually get back onto its Let's Plays department, especially that it has been a very long time for him to able to actually get back into certain things, so... At least as far as I remember, that the last time he did done a Let's Plays of himself was actually by the forms of, uh, I won't classify for saying, um, I would say, um, Super Mario Galaxy 2, and especially noticeable with, I don't know if Yoshi's Woolly World, but either way though, I'm not able to research it for myself in, in case if I was going to be able to lost track of myself for these little regards and stuff. So anyways, let's go and get ourselves the last of one of those golden items, and we are good to go for the most part though, so even then though, it's actually not too bad, and especially noticeable, it's actually pretty easy if you manage to able to find... Excuse me, if you manage to find those kinds of items like so. So either way though, uh, yeah, I think we should probably go ahead and um, move on to the next souvenir item, which this time we need to find the Cherry Blossom uh, kind of image. So that would be on, um, obviously, well not in that level, but to be more specifically, the Shogun's Castle in the flip side. And I think we should probably do um, the Poochie Pop Hide and Seek kind of scenario as well. So, at least depending on the forms of how the fact that if my skillful on that specific stage, we're able to go well enough. But if it doesn't go well enough though, then I should probably be able to come back for it later. So, after when I'm basically done with most of those souvenir huntings and stuff first. So, 
Yeah, that's so how it goes, basically. So, uh, yeah, a few things we want to explain about this for this point today is the fact that, well, recently we only got ourselves the tomorrow's, uh, new tour, um, update for Mario Kart Tour will be up in joining forms of tomorrow. That will actually have to be by the forms of a another character-related tour, which this time around is actually more accurately a Hammer Bro tour, which is inspired by, uh, do you remember the forms of the final, um, final challenges in the forms of Baby Rosalina Tour, where basically we need to deal with the forms of Aim First Place to beat Hammer Bro with. Well, turns out about the fact that Hammer Bro was actually going to be confirmed as going to be playable character until tomorrow. So either way though, that looks, that's going to be pretty great because either way though, since then, that originally Mario Kart Wii was going to have uh, uh, Hammer Bro as a playable character, but it turns out in the, uh, the actual database base, install base, is the fact that it was actually pretty much unused with that specific playable character, but it's about time that we can now finally let Hammer Bro join in the race. So that's pretty cool stuff, especially noticeable how the fact that Hammer Bro was actually a pretty cool character to use in uh, certain spin-offs, like, you know, Mario Party, well he only made an appearance in two Mario Party games as playable characters debuted, such as of course Mario Party 8, and recently Super Mario Party, so either way though, that, uh, you know, you get the idea for that little, uh, things itself and solutions and stuff, so either way though, let's just go ahead and, uh, well, just continue exploring for this point right there, so make sure if we don't get hit most of the time, and thankfully we got a checkpoint right there, so at least we can expect to able to go ahead and uh, just be very careful for the most part, especially how you really don't have fell into the actual spikes down below. So either way though, that's as far as I can usually think about it. Uh, is there anything in here? Oh yeah, there is a uh, pushy pup inside here. Oh, Jesus Louise, that took a lot of damage right there. Well, to me more specifically, the exact same amount of health as as far as I can usually think about it, so... Anyway, so I think we should probably just free uh, the Poochie Pup himself, and, well, there goes my next game over right there, so, yeah, that sucks. But what, what, what makes this a little bit inconsistent is the fact that every time you die, um, if you go to the forms of the Poochie Pups hunting, as you can see, the timer actually carries you over, so even then, though, it, it kind of reminds me of those, um, one of those Sonic games, specifically Sonic Unleashed, Sonic, um... Colors, Sonic Generations, and stuff like that, and I suppose maybe Sonic Forces as well. Um, I'm pretty sure that the time itself will able to carry you over and during that some form or another. So yeah, that's pretty annoying, especially noticeable how the fact that if you really want to go after the majority of those Pushy Pups, and I get a feeling I'm actually missing one, so as a result, this is going to be one of the first worlds I accidentally screwed up on that Pushy Pups hide and seek kind of, uh, um, scenario, unfortunately, just because, well, for one notable thing is the fact that those particular cardboard, um, swordsmen or stuff that just managed to screw me up beyond belief, and also I, I have no idea where, uh, the third and the last Poochie Pup went, so... But don't worry, I'll try that again at some point whenever we get into that stuff, so either way though, that's just pretty annoying for the most of the time, so either way though, let's just see. Uh, next we need to find is the Shy Guy Cardboard Cutouts, and that will have to be on, well, first of all, before I get into that, let me just go ahead and just get back into this level for, well, just trying to do a like, successful attempt, and hopefully I should be able to actually accomplish the actual, uh, you know, the flip side, uh, Poochie Pups Hide and Seek kind of, uh, you know, thing to it. So either way though, I do apologize with the lack of commentary for this point guys, because apart from the fact that I've already mentioned about the forms of the Mario Kart Tours, uh, next tour will be up and during the forms of tomorrow, which is of course Hammer Bro Tour. In addition to able to actually having ourselves Hammer Bro as a playable character in the Mario Kart game for the first time, but it's also that we might able to get ourselves our new track has been returning ever since in Super Mario Kart, Mario Kart Super Circuit, as well as Mario Card DS that appears to be the returning of Donut Planes 1. So it's pretty cool, kind of thinking about it though, to make everything a little bit more up.
updated and everything, but I'm guessing the only track it needs left, and when it comes to returning tracks in mind in Donut Plains series, is the fact that we need uh, Donut Plains 2, which either way though, I haven't really heard anything about it, because apart from the fact that recently we've only just got, um, you know, um, Donut Plains um, 1 as a uh, the returning track from the um, other versions throughout. But I'm sure enough we already got ourselves the returning track from, uh, well, we've already got ourselves Donut Plains 3 twice. Well, three times technically if you want to count uh, Mario Kart Super Circuit, if you will. So, for instance, that, uh, you know, Donut Plains 3 makes its debut in uh, uh, Super Mario Kart, basically, and then it will bring it back until when, uh, well, you know, Mario Kart Super Circuit came around in, I would say, in a Star Cup, if you will, on the Extra Star Cup, if I should say, and, um, and also recently in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, or Mario Kart 8 on the Wii U, they managed to able to bring that track back in the Banana Cup, so, yeah, I'm guessing Donut Plains 2 is the only one's next. Well, I don't know exactly when will that make it happen, but either way, though, we'll have to wait and see what happens until future updates and, be uh, and beyond. So, either way, though, I'm really looking forward to able to actually just to try not to out. So, I get a horrible feeling that it might be something to do with this particular bit right there. Well, it's nothing to do with that bit right there, but to be more accurate, whatever way it attaches to the string, then if I could able to actually just to go up... Yep, I know it. It's right there. I accidentally ignored that, so... Oh man, I could have done it on the first attempt though, but unfortunately, because as I, as you can clearly tell, I somehow accidentally got myself my uh, my second game over on this run, probably because of how the fact that, well, usually kind of think about it, about the fact that once you touch the checkpoint, you will be okay, but it's just that, um, eventually at this point, is the fact that when it comes to trying to find some souvenirs and stuff, to me though at least, even with the forms of every single Pucci Pops uh, hide and seek kind of scenario, um, I get a feeling that this is where the game starts to get significantly, well, not so much uh, intense difficulty, or in this case, intensely difficult, but it's more accurately, more accurately like a normal kind of di uh, challenge or something. So, but I guess. So, um, yeah, speaking of Mario Kart Tour, actually, it's the fact that I'll be presuming. That uh, recently, about the fact that Mario Kart Tour has been out, technically speaking, because we actually store on the leap year. So this means, generally speaking, is that the Mario Kart Tour game has been out for about six months now, a half a year before um, during September. So, what's my final thoughts about the forms of Mario Kart Tour so far when it comes to the forms of uh, the six months uh, routine or something like that, which? While I'm discussing about the fact that well, I was going to be still trying to take on the forms of more souvenir huntings and stuff. So yeah, what's my uh, uh, second thoughts of uh, specifically Mario Kart Tour after six months of release? So how does it hold up, if you're probably wondering for this point? Well... Okay, I will still say that the graphics in Mario Kart Tour looks absolutely gorgeous, especially if you play it on the actual high-resolution mobile phones. And, it, and also, some of these tracks do look really, really nice, especially how a little bit more how updated this can be. And also, the music is, still looks nice even to this day. Even though, strangely enough, though, is the fact that while they doesn't seem to have any returning tracks from Mario Kart Wii and Mario Kart 8, probably because of how the fact that while for those two titles, uh, well, specifically in Mario Kart 8's case, because otherwise every single track in Mario Kart 8 has been completely remixed when it comes to other retro tracks. But usually, relatively speaking, that's how it usually goes, basically, when it comes to certain things and stuff. So, yeah, because of that, though, with all these aspects combined, in addition to how many character rosters they actually got, well, they actually got, like, at the moment, they got 67 or 68, if you want to count Gold Mario. But I think this is certainly is the biggest, uh, well, character roster we've ever seen in a Mario Kart game. And I assume that the actual... Um, aspects, as I said before, it certainly is one of the game's best aspects. However, though, unfortunately, the gameplay and perhaps the most important aspect about the thing has become noticeably worse. Now, back in the forms of back in the forms of uh, whenever when Mario Kart Tour was first released, I did say that the more I played it, it better seemed to get. Well, 
I have to be honest here, that's a little bit too controversial for Abel to actually just to say now, because um, I will say though is the fact that the actual controls wasn't exactly all that perfect, I have to be honest for this point. Plus, because in addition to Abel to actually just to realize that you have to deal with the forms of holding the actual mobile phone uh, vertically instead of horizontally, and also because trying to do drifting in this game is nowhere near as accessibility or as nice like, um, fluid as the forms of how it does it on the previous games. Like, for instance, in Mario Kart DS all the way up to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, I can just simply just able to actually drift in uh, certain uh, sharp corners and stuff like that, like, easily with no sweat. Uh, but I couldn't even bother it with the forms of Mario Kart Tour. I mean, sure, the game is fun, but no one near as, like, replayability as the forms of how it does in the classics. Well, usually I did say classics, mind you, because I'm talking about likely um, the first game all the way up to 8 Deluxe, so... But even then though, that's as far as we can usually say about it. Sure, the bonus challenges are cool enough, but it just gets a little bit too repetitive just to doing the exact same challenges over and over and over again, just to, with the forms of different stipulations, especially with the different environments you're gonna have to deal with. And there's only like three uh, tracks in the forms of each cup, not four, mind you. Well, I'm guessing they're trying to make it a little bit too similar to uh, Mario Kart Arcade GP1, and especially no sport for Mario Kart Arcade. GP2. Well, usually, unlike in those two games, especially with the uh, the DX version, if you will, they did at least manage to give, us, give ourselves uh, four tracks in one cup, and also the bonus challenge at the end, to so able to actually just to, for sake of like completion and sake. But um, but usually in Mario Kart Tour, that just only gets like three tracks and one bonus challenge, and that's pretty much about it. So. And also because of how the fact that I really just still really despise the fact that this game or that particular game of Mario Kart Tour still forces you to able to utilize, um, you know, with the stupid uh, microtransactions, which can be really ruins the entire experience of it all. If you really want to get yourselves the high end characters and stuff like that, mainly for example, I was expecting to get myself. Um, I would classify for saying Detective Bo uh, Baby Rosalina, and even the classic variations of Mario and Luigi. But unfortunately, for the sake of time, the actual compulsive gambling did manage to ruin the experience. It's like Sonic Runners all over again, at least in the forms of back in 2015. Even enough likely for judging by the fact that, well, how the fact that Sonic Runners, the original game, has been out for about almost five years at this point, despite back in the day that was. So. But luckily, they got ourselves the actual revival of Sonic Rivals, uh, Sonic Runners revival, to say the least. But I haven't really got access to it yet, probably because it, it actually requires a lot of hacking involved. Which I don't know about you, but either way, though, that's just a little bit more uh, complicated than it seems to me, though. But. Usually, relatively speaking, because of how the fact that trying to unlock certain characters is pretty much the same stuff as to be expected. I really don't know if uh, Mario Kart Tour were able to actually get ourselves this deadline and during at some point, but then again, though, we have to wait and see what happens there until the future years and beyond will come, so... And plus, uh, since I still managed to go myself my downgraded phone, unlike you guys, managed to have ourselves the upgraded iPhone, especially with the upgraded iPad, if you will. Sometimes I always give myself my game crashes, which is always attempt to be one of the worst experiences ever. Which, it's got the forms of likely, and also the frame rate, my ankle decides to chuck for likely, like, a uh, few seconds at least, at minimum. It's got the forms of Hyrule Warriors Legends, the old 3DS running frame rate uh, syndrome, because usually, if you ever play Hyrule Warriors Legends on the, uh, the old 3DS models, we're able to run noticeably worse, but if you run it on a new 3DS hardware, it should make things a lot better, which I could expect about the fact that the reason why Hyrule Warrior, uh, Fire Emblem Warriors gets its new 3DS exclusive, probably because of the processing power, or well, especially noticeable with the forms that some people uh, pointing out for some issues if they played Hyrule Warriors Legends in uh, the old 3DS models because they always attempt to have worse frame rate. Visuals do look okay at best, but either way though, I think I should probably play the Nintendo Switch version any day, well, despite I haven't really touched upon it yet because I think 
we might as well be able to do a let's play of that game at some point or another. But then again, uh, we have to wait and see what happens there and join at some point and beyond. And plus, I need to practice uh, the Wii U version first, and then a new 3DS version afterwards. So, that might be some conception. So, anyway, that's that's as far as I can usually say about it. And uh, the actual uh, emphasis on the informs of, uh, well, I just... I, c I can't help it for myself about the fact that uh, how, I'm, how much I got so, so disappointed with... Uh, you know, after six months of the release of uh, Mario Kart Tour. But usually back in the day, I did say that I should definitely recommend it. But every now and then though, is the fact that there and now, I think you should probably just give it a rent or something. If only if you, uh, well, I suppose it will be good for Mario Kart fans such as myself. But unfortunately, due to other problems as I mentioned, then, well, those problems need to be glaring to ignore at some form or another. So... Unfortunately though, you need to still stuck with these stupid microtransactions if you can probably tell by that fact, so... But you know, that's as far as I can usually think about this for the sake of time, folks, just because, well... Not much else you can say with my second thoughts of uh, Mario Kart Tour of how that game usually came out to be, so... But that doesn't stop there, however, though, is the fact that we did have at least a good few, uh, the good amount of, uh... Uh, news to discuss, mainly with the forms of, regardless, regardless of the forms of the Sonic the Hedgehog movie, specifically on the 4K Blu-ray, as well as uh, the Blu-ray version, and even a DVD release. I'm talking about the North American's release or something like that, because basically, uh, first off, before we get onto that actually, unfortunately though is the fact that the actual one of those ND games, specifically uh, Brush at Dead, is now going to be pushed back in during the forms of Spring slash Summer 2021. Which is kind of sad for that particular game because it will be pretty good for Kickstarter, but unfortunately though, it will have to be delayed until 2021 release window. Which is kind of unfortunate, but either way though, that's just how I can, uh, thought about that. So anyways, let's get into the forms of the Sonic the Hedgehog movie, uh, 4K and Blu-ray and DVDs release, and specifically North American release I'm talking about. Um, First of all, it's the fact that let's talk about the actual digital HD uh, kind of download first, or digital release I should say. Um, it's actually getting themselves a early digital release on March 31st, which is actually going to be at the end of this month. Which is kind of surprising because even then though, it's been about a whole month since when the actual film came out on a big screen. And um, as far as I'm aware, that uh, the DVD and Blu-ray and a 4K release of the film will be expecting to be released in June in spring. And it's going to be specifically in North America, it's going to be releasing on uh, May 19th. So yeah, that comes across as like an odd surprise, if you will. Probably because of how the fact that with the all this uh, stupid coronavirus was still a thing after all. And also to top, to top it off is the fact that they just weren't able to... Well, it's hard to explain about this sometimes, probably because of how the fact that I know there has been quite a few uh, days since I actually mentioned something more than it ever will be. So, uh, yeah, that's how it goes, basically. So either way, though, yeah, that's as far as I can say, bye. And thank the Lord, we did manage to able to fully complete all these souvenirs, um, hi uh, hunts, journey forms of Ninjurama. So in this case, we are basically good to go. But before we jump onto the forms of the next world, we should probably get ourselves some more costumes in that specific capsule machine. So hopefully we would be able to once again get ourselves uh, 10 of those co costumes, if you will. So, uh... Yeah, that's as far as I can usually say about the actual news and updates or anything like that. I haven't really heard that much anything else in terms of, well, the wonderful 101 just yet though. And if I do apologize with the actual typing uh, background noise you're going to be hearing just because, well, obviously because I just wasn't able to classify for something. Oh yeah, um, in new forms of the Japanese release of uh, the wonderful 101 remastered on the Nintendo Switch, Windows, PC and especially noticeable for the PlayStation 4. Um, well, it obviously got this, uh, the actual final release dates in between 
all the regions now, such as in North America is going to be released first on May the 19th of 2020. And in our country, which is Europe, is going to be releasing on May 22nd, 2020. And finally in Japan, it's going to be, be, it's going to be releasing the game until specifically the 11th of June in 2020, aka the most popular thing of them all is the fact that it's going to be releasing on the exact same day as in the 10th anniversary of Super Mario Galaxy 2's release, specifically in the UK version, and I believe the North American version is on the 23rd of May in 2010 in North America. I can't even believe it's going to be two months time until that thing comes, oh man. Time really does fly, doesn't it? So, anyway, that takes care of the forms of those costumes, as you can see, for Ninjurama. Now let's go ahead and move on to the next world. And if, as far as I remember this correctly, it's going to be based on from the jungle environment. So, yeah, I'm guessing that makes it a little bit obvious for this point. So here's the forms of the next world, which is Rumble Jungle. And the first level we're going to be exploring on is exploring the Animal Kingdom. So even then, I think we should probably do just only one level in this world, but then again, if I'm actually missing something, specifically those red coins and stuff like that, just like the usual things, then I should be able to jump cut into one of my able to hopefully try to find the rest of the forms of those red coins, as far as I'm trying to able to point it out, so... But you know, you get the idea for this point, guys. You most likely get the idea for that solution here, so... And talking of which, actually, it's the fact that we've already got ourselves um, eight days left until the forms of April were able to approach. So even then, though, to be expected at this point, guys, I hope you may be able to look for it until to see um, so a whole bunch of new Let's Plays coming up and during at some point in April. And especially noticeable that, yes, I will ask Tiana that she'll be able to actually get back onto Kirby's Return to Dreamland on her own time. So that way, when she manages to catch us up on extra mode, if you will, then she would be able to actually just to classify for saying that uh, she would definitely going to be finishing off for that particular let's play of Kirby's Return to Dreamland at some point and by the end of uh, next month or something. So, but then again, though, depending on time, of course, but either way, though, the only thing she might not tackle through is, of course, uh, Kirby's Dream Collection's new challenge stages because we still don't have that particular compilation. And second of all, it constantly just gets out, uh, it just constantly get ourselves uh, out of stock in the forms of some of these online shopping websites. But either way, though, that's just how it goes, basically. So either way, though, when it comes to certain uh, limited copies, if I was presuming so, anyway. But because of the size, we still got Mario Super Sluggers as the only American Wii game that we've only got, probably because of how the fact that we just more cared for Mario more than anything. So. Plus, because we're still pretty much limited with those Mario releases and stuff in 2020, besides uh, the previous Mario release that we've got so far is, of course, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games Tokyo 2020. That was the last uh, previous uh, Mario release that we've got so far. Then everything else, though, it seems still pretty much empty at this point. Really, we're really still hoping that the Nintendo Direct, the normal general Nintendo Direct, will be still there in journey forms of some point this week or so, mainly on the 26th of March, according to the forms of some rumors out there. But then again, though, we'll let Sonic will mention more about it until whenever we uh, uh, manage to make it happen, and especially noticeable with uh, you know Sonic were able to actually just uh, mention more about. About, uh, Mario Kart Tour's Hammer Bro Tour in case if he managed to play that tour for the first time and then he would be able to get ourselves our, uh, you know, some new thoughts and stuff in Dream Tomorrow, so... But you know, you get the idea, whenever when Sonic may be able to actually just mainly focusing on, uh, you know, the Dolphino Plaza next, so yeah, that seems the ultimate goal here. But I digress. Oh yeah, we got ourselves the actual uh, rhinoceros or something like that. Because basically, uh, we need to, uh, we just been constantly be getting chased by him. And plus, because I just keep on getting hit most of the time. Probably because of how the fact that with all these collectibles I still need to grab. Such as, of course, red coins and smiley flowers and stuff like that. We're really hoping we can able to get some more hearts here and there. But 
unfortunately for the sake of time, that we, it seems that we haven't got that much any of those, um, you know, health hearts in general so far, so... That seems a little bit underwhelming. Oh, jeez! I did not notice he's actually chasing after me for that spot. Uh, there's gonna be another way that we need to able to actually just to make him go away. Uh, okay. Alright. I think we should probably should be safe up there. And then once he pops all of these balloons down there, then I think we should be safe from now on. In fact, let me just double check what's down here. Because I might be curious to see, yeah, there's a smiley flower just underneath right down there. I'm hoping I don't get a game over again, because otherwise, then if we somehow get a game over multiple times, then it will be pretty damn shameful if I was going to be able to actually achieve that kinds of stuff like that, so... But anyway, let's just uh, keep on double checking in case if I'm missing something before I continue things on for the most part. It doesn't seem look like yet, well apart from the fact that I'm still worried about the actual red coin locations might be still well hidden. In fact, let's see what's in here. Okay, speaking of red coins, there we go. At least we got those at least, but uh, I unfortunately actually accidentally activate the actual checkpoints as soon as we're before we get ourselves uh, the red coins down there. So if I imagine if I got myself my another game over, this means I'm as well able to actually collect those red coins again, so... And also, taking notice from uh, one of the levels in uh, Big Paper Peak, we still need to get a lot of uses on those magnetic um, objects, so that way we can able to actually continue uh, beyond for the sake of this level. So, even then, oh, like, for instance, that we did manage to reach higher up for that specific uh, spot, and that way we should be able to actually, just to realize, to able to actually reach from up here. So, okay, let's see what's in here. Okay, so it's very simple, just trying to find the real smiley flower as opposed to those fake ones so pretty simple self-explanatory right there so not much complications or anything like that and yes we have to be able to find these broken uh, bridge pieces because that particular bigger balloon blocks our path so we need to find you know all three pieces of the actual uh, the bridges part so either way though let's see what's in this particular thing here of course to be expected we have another uh, red coin set so i think we should be all right for the most part though apart from that you know getting hit multiple times where by the forms of the rhinoceros and stuff well usually relatively speaking is the fact that it's more accurately a rhinoceros because of these two horns as you can see so yeah, that particular um, rhinoceros can be pretty annoying, except at the end though, because all he really cares about is, of course, I would say, uh, the daughter or the love bird or anything like that. And basically, after we're able to get them, get them to reunite together, then you'll help us able to bust out the actual balloon, so kudos to them. But before we're able to end off the level, and especially noticeable that since then, there is actually going to be a secret in here. And that will be turned out to be, of course, the smiley flower itself. So yeah, that's all pretty swell, if I should say. And unfortunately, I don't think we can able to grind for some more of those hearts, because no, it looks like we're probably going to have to stuck with this, I suppose, so... And in this last part, we need to avoid a lot of those crocodiles, so... I gotta say, the actual materials themselves do look very, very cool. Especially noticeable, they're almost made out of uh, tin foil or something like that, with those teeth, as far as I'm aware. Oh, great. Once again, I'm what I'm off by four blue coin, uh, bl four red coins. I keep thinking of Super Mario Sunshine for some reason, but... We're playing a Yoshi game, after all, but... Ah, oh, why does this ever happen to me? Every time I just really want to get those godforsaken red coins, but then again, we just keep messing things up with all these... I'm just getting annoyed at this rate. Uh, anyway, so we've managed to access to this next level, so I'll meet you guys back with the, of course, the final four red coins on this level. I think, if I recall correctly, it's going to be in here. Well, after getting distracted by that rhinoceros, as you can clearly see. So, is it true? I just know it. 
Uh, anyway, let's just get this over with before my insanity were able to go a little bit thrown off the roof. And thankfully, as soon as you're able to realize about something, yes, I also got myself my full health at the moment. So relatively speaking, we should be okay for the most part until uh, the next two levels and during at some point on Thursday. So I don't think we can able to complete this world for the next video, but definitely enjoying at some point on Sunday. So it's what I'm pointing out right away. So either way, I think... Similarly to say, it's the fact that we'll pretty much get ending stuff here. So join me next time on Let's Play Yoshi's Crafted World. It's the fact that we are still continuing things in in Rumble Jungle. But this time we're going to be exploring through hopping higher. So the level might be somewhat interesting. So even then though, but then again, we'll have to talk more about it. And join at some point on Thursday. So yeah, I'll see you guys on Thursday. So yeah, later fellas.